So, it is officially 6.28 a.m. So why not make it another tutorial? So, this time around, I'm going to do some warp shake. Two types of warp shakes. So, first one like this. <laughs> And the second one like this. So, let's get started with the first one. So, what do you want to do? Is you want to make an adjustment layer, which is just Control Alt Y. I hope everybody should be able to know that. It's kind of like like five frames okay so now what you want to do is you want to get on your adjustment layer come to your effects and presets whip out the best effect motion tile slap that on there make the value what maybe like 300 to 300 make sure mirrored edges are on and then you come over here effects and presets again warp bubble You loading? Okay. My bad. Warp puddle. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So basically, what you want to do is you want to come to the beginning of your adjustment layer, make a keyframe for the amplitude, and make the amplitude zero. So you want to change the frequency to be. Uh, let's go one. Let's do 120. Not 120. Just 120, it's 1.2. All right, make this rel height. We'll like change it to 100 more, maybe 150 more. Let's see, 900. Make the let's make the phase seed 2.1. The inner radius will make that nine. And what you want to do with your with your warp puddle, your amplitude? You want to go one, two, three. I'll just do three frames ahead. You can do whatever you want, honestly. It's not even gonna work, is it? Okay, how far down can I go? Okay, let's just do negative 0 0.9. And then you wanna come two frames before your adjustment layer ends and make that zero. And F9 to easy ease, open up the graph editor. And for the first keyframe, what you wanna do is you wanna make a pretty loose graph, something. Something like this, I'd say. Maybe even a little bit. Eh, yeah, this is, this is, this is good. Seems good. And for the other one, you want to bring this pick width. Bring it up, bring it high. Like, right above there. That is 0.2% line. We stretch it out, like, a little bit more there. Alright. Now, when you have this, these two graphs, right, should be good. And now, what you want to add as well is you want to add warp bubble actually we need this we want this all right so when you come to your warp bubble you want to come to the beginning of your adjustment layer make the amplitude zero keyframe it and make it 0 0.4 the frequency 0 0.4 and then you want to change the shift x speed to like 4300 and then the shift y speed 4900 Drag this, the amplitude, one frame back from the adjustment layer, actually. And then come one frame before this keyframe and make it. Then you want to make it 0 0.400. Oh, okay, hold on. Make it 0 0.400. You want to go to your the end of the adjustment layer and make it 0. Then you can... F9 to easy ease, open up graph editor. You want to make a graph, it's a bit of an interesting graph. I get something, something like that for the first graph. And then for the second graph, make it something wonky, like let's bring this one down here. Let's bring this one a, a bit up actually. There we go. And it should look good. You can always change like the frequency and stuff to make it, you know, match your clip and stuff. 
Well, yeah, that's pretty much it for the first one. Okay, so now for the second warp shake thing. Like I have my clip here again. So you want to make another adjustment layer. Let's cut this. Let's make it like one, two, three. Let's make it like four frames to the left and like. And then let's like cut it, what, like maybe around here? Yeah, that look good. All right, so you wanna come back to your effects and presets. Motion tile, again. Oh, wait. Put that on the adjustment layer. Make it, uh, you can do only see 250. You don't have to do 300. Okay, I gotta stop recording <laughs> tutorials at like this early in the morning because my brain is just not working. You gotta add warp bubble, not warp puddle. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, same thing. Amplitude at the beginning of the adjustment layer. Make it zero. Frequency. Okay. Frequency like 0 0.35. Make the. I think the C like 450. Make the shift X like. 3850. Let's make this one like 3130. Maybe like 3170. Not really random, but normally these type of numbers seem to work well with these settings. Yeah, let's do. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get. And then press U to bring up the keyframes. And go like one, two, three, four. I'm only doing this because that's where the that's where my other clip is. So the other clip begins. So I'm just doing that much. You can do it wherever you want. Make it make the value one. Make sure you have mirrored edges on. So it doesn't look stupid. But yeah. And then go to the end of your clip and make it value zero. Now what you also want to do is you want to add S underscore shake or S shake, yeah. So basically what you want to do is you want to keyframe the amplitude make it zero make sure the amplitude is like just okay come on like your frame before the warp bottle keyframe in the middle and then go one frame ahead so it lines up with this other keyframe and then make the frequency five go one frame before the end and make it zero now for the actual settings you want to open up your X shake make that 25 Y shake 25 Z shake 25 and the tilt shake make that 3 now highlight all these keyframes F9 to easy ease and for the warp bubble I'm gonna make a graph I'm gonna make a graph something similar to the other one that we did it's gonna be like like that or you know what, actually let's just drag this keep it down there well, the second one it'll be the same thing as the other something something like this now for the s shake one the s shake you just want the second graph to be something something like this so when you play it it should be Okay. You can obviously like change the graph and shit. I always say the same thing, but uh, why did you just open up? Okay. Yeah, I always say the same thing, but a lot of people come asking me like, why does this look like that? Make sure to just play around with the settings so it fits your clip. Okay. Just do that. But uh, yeah. That's about it. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I might make another tutorial. I don't know on what, but I'll figure it out. Maybe some fractal stuff. But uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye, good night, and I should really get some sleep. Okay, bye bye.